Rams wide receiver Odell Beckham just sustained a left knee injury, and I gotta admit, on initial review, things look pretty concerning for the Rams star. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and in this video, we're gonna break down what exactly could have happened here with OBJ's left knee. At the time of recording this, he's back in the locker room being examined, and I haven't heard any official word yet, but let's take a look at the exact mechanisms here, because I think it's pretty apparent what could have happened. Here is Odell is stopping as he's trying to catch this pass, he plants with that left knee. Now remember this left knee is the knee in which he tore his ACL previously. As he plants, he's in this position where his momentum is carrying him forward. And so what we have here is that tibia wanting to continue translating forward. But if you look at the way his body is positioned, we'll see there's a tendency for his knee to want to fall a little bit inward while his foot is externally rotated outward. As his momentum carries him forward, you can see this little shift where his knee basically goes forward and almost inward. We see a little bit of internal rotation of that tibia relative to the femur from this backside. If we look from this other view, now again, focusing on that left knee, we see that plant. Right as he plants, we have this high ground reaction force impact from the ground coming up through this knee. And then you can see as he comes forward, there's almost right there a little bit of a shift forward that we can see in the front of his shin where then as his momentum kind of comes through, you almost see it pop backwards. It's really subtle, but again, we're looking at that plant, that tibia shifted forward, and then pop right there. It almost snaps kind of back up into position. Unfortunately, this does look like it could be a repeat ACL tear for Odell Beckham. We'll take a look at his previous tear, some other examples, and talk about the anatomy, but first I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of this video. Today's video is sponsored by Element, an electrolyte drink mix that features everything you need with electrolytes and nothing you don't. Our bodies rely on optimal electrolyte balances, from firing of nerves to contraction of muscle fibers. If you saw my recent video about Paolo Boncaro, then you know that you can lose a significant amount of sweat and electrolytes with high levels sports, and that can unfortunately lead to things like cramping and fatigue. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio. 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium without any of the added artificial sweeteners, sugar, or other ingredients you just simply don't need. Element also has the trust of professional athletes, being the exclusive hydration partner to Team USA Weightlifting and a number of Olympic athletes. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack by heading to drink lmnt.com slash brianmd. All you have to do is pay five bucks for shipping. You can sample a number of their different flavors to see if it's right for you before making a full purchase. If you get some and you just don't like it, give it to a friend and Element's gonna give you your full refund back, no questions asked. So try some out today by heading to the link in the description below and thank you again to Element for sponsoring today's video. This shift that we see is really important. We call it a pivot shift and it's kind of the underlying mechanism of when an ACL tears. What's going on here is the tibia is sliding sliding forward relative to the thigh bone or the femur, and the tibia is also internally rotating. So it's basically going in this way, and those are the two positions that the ACL is trying to prevent the tibia and the femur from moving relative to one another. This was from the national championship game, and probably the best example of it I've ever seen on video, where here we can see the tibia in kind of its normal position. As the player goes forward, it's kind of now shifted anterior relative to the femur, and then as he kind of releases right there, pop, you see it kind of go back up into position. So that's that sort of pivot shift that we can see with an ACL tear. So then as we go back to Beckham here, as that knee comes forward, you can see kind of right there, a little bit of increased kind of contour from the tibia going forward. And then as he kind of releases through, you almost see it snap back upwards into its normal position. Looking at our biodigital anatomy tool here, I've got the femur transparent so we can see those two ligaments inside the knee. Of course, in the backside of the knee, the PCL running from kind of the outside to the inside, but then deeper in there running from the anterior or front tibia to the back of the femur is gonna be that ACL. So you can see now why whenever the tibia moves forward in this direction, that's going to occur when this ACL is torn. You kind of cut that rope, you're able to pull that shin bone forward. The rotation piece is because the angle of the ACL is kind of from inside to out. So now if that ACL is torn, you're able to sort of internally rotate it or twist those two bones more. Finally, let's take a look back here at the play when Odell tore his ACL originally, and you can see that foot plants, that knee comes inward, and it's that same sort of internal rotation sort of shift mechanism that we unfortunately see on the play that just happened. 
Now, I just saw as I was recording this that the Rams are officially saying he's questionable to return with a knee injury. We have to remember too that any of these ligament injuries are on a scale. So there can be a partial sprain where it's not completely torn in comparison to a full-blown complete rupture. These are pretty easy to pick up initially on physical exam unless the player is guarding a lot or sort of contracting their muscles. Hopefully this turns out to be just a sprain because again, we see that same position where we saw a little bit of that shift, that non-contact mechanism. It's possible the ACL is still intact and we're just dealing with a sprain there. So we'll have to see here over halftime how Odell's knee responds. The unfortunate part is we have a longer halftime period, so there's gonna be more time for that knee to swell up potentially. Hopefully this initial update for the Rams plays out and maybe we're just dealing with a sprain, but given everything with the mechanism that we see here, certainly an ACL tear would be high in the differential just based on the mechanism of how his knee moved. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.